Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the English version of Windows or actually any other language that you choose on a brand new Xiaomi computer. Unfortunately this computer comes with a Chinese version of Windows which does not allow you to change the language of the user interface. Now look what happened after first booting up the computer. The Mi logo is going to appear and voila everything is in Chinese. So what we're going to do in order to set this computer in English is first skip all the dialogues in order to start the computer. I have no idea what I'm doing but hopefully it's going to work. Now it connects to my Wi-Fi network. Let's accept the license agreement, even though we have no idea, at least most of us, what's written. Now we need to sign in to your Microsoft account. And after successful login, the computer hopefully is going to start up soon. I'm going to set up a PIN code. And there you go, after about 7 minutes, now the computer is ready to use. The next thing I'm going to do is to install an English version of Windows. In order to do it, you will need to run the Windows 10 media creation tool on a different computer. And you're also going to need a USB flash drive with at least 4GB capacity. Then after starting up the wizard, follow the instructions on your screen. So you need to accept the license agreement. Now you need to select Create Installation Media, hit Next. Then you can select the language, the edition, and also the architecture. Leave this one on 64-bit. And you can also select the user interface language, which can be changed later. Then hit Next. Then you can select whether you want to use a USB flash drive or an ISO file. And you actually need an 8GB flash drive and not 4GB like I mentioned before. Then hit Next. Select the USB flash drive which you would like to use and pay attention that all the data on the flash drive is going to be deleted. Then hit next again and now it's going to take some time for the computer to download Windows 10. Then when you're done, just to be on the safe side, I recommend to save the original product key of the Microsoft Windows which is installed on the Mi Notebook. So what you need to do in order to extract it is to hit Command R, type CMD, enter and then over here you will need to type this command, it is pretty long and I'm going to include it in the description box down below. And after pressing it, your original product key is going to be appear here. And I recommend to write it down somewhere safe because maybe someday you're going to need it. The next thing we need to do is to plug the USB flash drive which you just used in order to create the Windows 10 boot tool. And then you need to restart the computer. And as soon as the computer boots up, you will need to press F2 in order to get to the boot manager. Then you need to drag the USB option to the left, so it's first going to boot up from the USB drive. Then you need to press F10 in order to save the settings. Hit the red button. And now if everything will go well, we're going to boot up to the Windows 10 installation screen. Okay, so we got it. We got to the Windows installation screen. Now over here, you need to choose the language that you want to install. You're going to have only one option, which is the one you chose before when you created the flash drive tool. You can choose the time and currency format and the keyboard or input method. Then hit next, install now. In this screen, you can enter the product key that you saved before. And if you don't have it, you can press I don't have it the product key and you can activate Windows later. After that, select the operating system that you would like to install. I'm going to go for Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to install a fresh copy of Windows, so I'm going to hit custom. I'm going to install the Windows on the primary drive. So first I'm going to format it. Okay, nothing important there. And then hit next. Now sit back and relax while the Windows copy is being installed. 
After the computer is going to boot a couple of times, eventually you are going to reach this menu, which is the same one that you've previously saw in Chinese, but now it's in English. All you have to do now is just to follow the instructions and soon your computer is going to be ready. The whole process took about half an hour and now I've got a fully working computer, the Windows is in English and I can start doing my work. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see more videos like that. See you on my next videos and goodbye.